Welcome to this demonstration video of the Datalinks Warehouse Manager for X3. Um, what I'm going to show you during this video is how using the handheld scanners um, we can give the uh, inquiries to a number of users on the, the shop floor. Well this means it allows them to look at what's in a bin, what's on a pallet, uh, look at various products uh, and information and status etc. Um, most of this will be done uh, using the handheld screen that you see in front of you at the moment to the, to the right hand side. Um, if you've looked at the previous videos that we've done, um, you'll notice that this looks uh, subtly different. Um, that's because this is now on an, an Android client. Uh, the previous ones would have been on a, a Windows uh, type client. Um, the actual operation in both clients is exactly the same, um, just the look and feel um, is subtly different due to the different operating systems underneath. Um, if you want to know more about the uh, clients the, the, and what the client runs on, um, there's other videos and other demonstrations on that. Okay, so working with the handheld, um, and again it's a mirror, uh, what you're looking at on the screen is a mirror of the the handheld itself, you should hear it bleeping and such um, as, as we go through. It's it's fully touch um, sensitive, the screen, um, and therefore the buttons, etc., can be done just by, by clicking the, the screen, of course. Um, during the demo, so you can see what I'm actually doing, um, I'll use the mouse to click um, because fin finger touching on the, the screen doesn't tend to come through. So on the handheld, we click the inquiries option. And this takes you to a screen where it's asking what sort of inquiry do you wish to, to carry out. Um, first one might be an in inquiry about a product, finding out whereabouts it is in the, the warehouse. Um, maybe somebody's asked you, can you tell me where this product is? Um, clearly you can get it through the X3 screens, but in the hands of the operator is the scanner itself, so we'd like to show it on there. So we drop on to product inquiry and click the touch screen. And here it's now asking you um, for a product um, that you're actually looking for. And it's saying you can either scan or enter it. And there's a number of options here. Um, you'll see this little uh, black box on the side here. The, that's actually a question mark on the, the actual scanner. It's just the uh, mirror doesn't quite display it cleanly. So uh, what I can do is I can scan a product code here. So in this case, I'm going to scan um, a code. And the, the code, as you can see there, is BMS013. And what that's done is using the web services as a call back to X3 and showing you the absolute real-time position of that stock. You can see there's the amount of the internal stock and the available stock, the numbers on purchase orders, number on sales orders, the number in status queue, etc. Um, so we can now look at uh, that. You'll see there's two buttons down the bottom. We can look at the batch details of that product so we can drill into the, the detail of the product in more detail and again we can look at it by location of FIFO, FIFO, uh, in this case we'll look at it by location. And here what this will show um, once it's done the quick callback to, to X3 is the location um, of each of the products and the physical quantity in each of the, those locations. If I just scan the screen upwards, and I'm using the touch screen on the device itself here, not the, the mouse in this case, you can see the, the product in each of the locations. Okay. If I drop back to the inquiry screen again, um, and, and it, because I've just taken one step back, it's still got the same product on the screen, and I look at status, what this will do is show the information but rather than showing it uh, as a quantity it's showing you at the status um, of the product itself and, and again by going down and selecting each item uh, it just shows you more information on the screen okay. so if I just drop back again and, and go up to the main menu the, that was that was one way of actually doing an inquiry scanning the product code itself if I actually go in this time and, and into the same product inquiry, and that rather than I might not have a barcode in front of me for that, that product. Um, so what I can actually do here is I can highlight this screen and because I've, I'm now doing a manual entry, being a, an Android client, it's popped up the, the keypad uh, for me. Now I, here I can do a, a, a search. So I, I know the product we looked at last time started with BMS. Okay, click 
to the next. Um, and at the moment, that's not found the product um, because we it, it hasn't got the product code up in the system. There's not a product BMS. So if I click the question mark to the, the right hand side there, what this is going to do is it's done a wildcard search back to um, X3 and it's showing all those products in this case that uh, start with the, the BMS here, um, which, which is fine, but there's actually a further search we can do here such that um, if, for example, I'm going to use this time DDR as the inquiry. Let me just cancel that for a second. And this time I'm going to do, as I say, into the inquiry here, DDR, next. Uh, again, it's not a, a valid code uh, in itself. So if I go into the query um, by, by clicking the question mark on the, the right-hand side here, now what it's done is actually it's searched it in the description. So this is a really easy and quick way to... Um, allow us, uh, somebody on the shop floor to do a quick check. Um, they know something about the description. All right, tell me what, where it is. Those are the two. Um, I want to look at, in this case, 57. It's highlighted. Select the OK button. And that will bring you the detail back of that product. In this case, there's none in stock. Um, but you can see it's brought that information back to the, to the screen. Okay, so a couple of different ways of doing an inquiry on a product there. Again, if I now go back to the, the inquiries menu, and, and maybe this time you're running um, a tracking tracking pallet numbers, and you, you see a pallet somewhere, and you want to actually know the details of that pallet. So here I can click on the tracking ID, and I scan the tracking code, same, same principle here, and here you can see it's brought that absolute detail using the license plate tracking number back to the screen. It's telling you where it should be located, the quantity on the pallet, um, and any of the other descriptions, short descriptions, etc., coming down um, from X3. So similar inquiry, just using the tracking number instead. Okay. And then the, the final uh, inquiry you may want on the, the screen um, might be something to do with uh, the location itself. You want to go into a location and see what should be in there. So we drop onto the location, scan the location code. Um, in this case, I'm going to scan ST050. And that will bring back the uh, details of that. You'll see also it's showing whether it's a, the, the settings of that location, whether it's a single product, whether it's blocked, the state eye that's allowed in there, the number of pallets that you can fit into that, that location. Um, and here you can see down below the detail of the products that are in there okay, or should be in there okay so, so some simple inquiries on the handheld we find that this gives the operator a lot of of power it in, empowers them to do their job um, the information is all in real time coming straight out of it straight out of x3 if you did the same inquiries in x3 you'd see the same information but it clearly it's on the the scanner device on the uh, dedicated to the the work in the warehouse so that shows you the inquiries capabilities of our data links warehouse manager for x3 uh, thank you for taking the time to look at this if you want more information on the product itself and our, our capability of delivering warehouse management into x3 please feel free to contact us on the normal email addresses and numbers that you can currently see on the screen